Hello, agents. Here to talk about tax time. Uh, it's tax season for some of us who might be procrastinating a little bit and uh, been getting more and more questions about how all these numbers come together and what makes sense. So first, I wanted to point you to this email that you received from our MCA uh, in roughly mid-January, January 16th or so. You should have received this email, looks like this, uh, that talks about what your 1099 income is actually made up of um, and then what um, can be reduced from your 1099 income. Uh, but that's what I'm going to walk you through now is um, how your actual 1099 income differs from the checks that you actually received because there are deductions um, through your deductions report. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Um, this is what the um, DA list looks like. Uh, so this is mine from 2023. Um, Kind of an example one. Um, so what you'll see here is um, total GCI is on this line. Uh, when I remove company dollar, you get this line, the agent growth. When I remove also royalty, you get this line. This is your actual 1099 income. Um, so this is what my 1099 says um, from the brokerage. This is not the amount of the checks that I get. Uh, and so to explain how that works, we're going to look at one specific property. Let's look at San Simeon Court. Am I allowed to select a line? Nope. Okay, it's this one. You can trust me on that. Uh, can you? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so this is San Simeon Court. We're going to look at DA number uh, 6913. Uh, my agent commission, meaning my 1099 commission income, was uh, 6110. Um, and we're going to look at the DA and see how it actually breaks down. Um, so this San Simeon Court, 6913. Um, so this is, you saw that 6110, that is the net commission amount on the transaction. So I'm being taxed on this amount. But the check I got is actually this amount, 5756. The reason for that is this net amount is the total commission minus my company dollar minus my royalty gives me this number. And then you subtract out my uh, KW Cares donations and other deductions, which are broken out down here, uh, and you ultimately get this number, which is the check amount. Uh, and that is how these are calculated. Um, so when you're doing taxes, just talk to your CPA, but chances are, while your, 1099, while your gross 1099 income is gonna show that number, you're then going to reduce that uh, through deduction, through expenses, essentially on your taxes, so that you're only taxed on some amount less than that. Might be that number, might be a little bit different, depending on if your deductions are actually tax deductible. Um, all mine on here happen to be. Uh, but for example, KW CARES free bond uh, is not a, um, a 501c3. I think I got those numbers right. Uh, it's not a nonprofit, so it's not actually a tax deductible expense. KW Cares, on the other hand, is because it is a 501c3. Uh, just to illustrate that point a little bit further, um, or I guess another reminder, so you'll also get this report, or you got that report attached to that email that I showed you uh, at the beginning of this video, uh, which has a breakdown of all your deductions for the entire year. Uh, so I'm highlighting the deductions from that particular transaction on San Simeon, so you can see um, how it all adds up um, and is ultimately reducing my 1099 income to arrive at the check that I got. Um, and so when you're looking at your um, bank statements, like this is all my um, deposits from commissions uh, for that year, you'll see, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh no, I remember this one. So uh, that check I actually deposited in the next year. Um, so it's not on my, it's also not on my bank account for 2023. It shows up in uh, January of 2024 um, for that amount. I already forgot the number, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's another thing to check out for is uh, your, your tax on when you um, earned the income, not necessarily when it arrived in your bank account. So if you have a closing that happened at the very end of the year, which I believe I did, nope, nope, nope. Um, I did not, okay, oh wait, yes I did. I had one that closed on the 29th of December. Uh, so that check didn't hit my account until January. 
that I, it's being taxed in 2023. Um, so check that out as well. So hopefully that's helpful in, in seeing how we arrive at uh, the difference between the 1099 income, which is this line, uh, versus what checks you actually get to deposit. All right, reach out if there's questions.